Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and in this video I'm going to show you how to put together a mapping limits exhibit. I thought I had that on my YouTube channel already, but I don't see it, so we're going to do it in this video. Buckle your seatbelt. Might actually be a couple videos, I'm not sure. So what is a mapping limits exhibit? Eh, a mapping limits exhibit is what we include with a proposal so that everybody is on the same page about what exactly is being mapped. So we typically do this for a topographic survey. Uh, it's a little bit different for a boundary survey. In that case, we have what we call subject parcel. We identify one or more subject parcels. But for topo surveys, we need to have a mapping limits exhibit. Otherwise, you go do your survey, you come back, and the engineer or the architect's like, ah, oh, you didn't get enough. We need that piece of the sidewalk over there, or you didn't get that part over there by the pond, and then everybody fights about who's going to pay for it, which is no bueno. So, if you do a mapping limits exhibit in your proposal, you avoid some of that. All right, so let's get going here. I've got a proposal folder open. I'm in the mapping limits exhibit folder, MLE, and uh, I've got some, uh, some GIS ortho photos here that we got. Uh, USGS one foot resolution urban imagery uh, and I've got that in a drawing already that I can XREF into my mapping limit, limits exhibit and I have my mapping limits exhibit template so I'm going to go ahead and open that in BricsCAD which is a pretty sweet CAD software that we use here at Refine Horizons alright so uh, here's what it looks like oh man it wants me to log in I don't want to do that right now alright uh, so BricsCAD has a hard time with this font. Uh, I gotta, I gotta talk to my uh, reseller about that. that's a bug. But uh, this is this mapping limits exhibit. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's pretty simple. 11 by 17 sheet. The viewport goes here. We got room for a couple notes, right? So it's not too too uh, too complicated. So what we want to do is uh, we want to go ahead and get this thing laid out. So uh, let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and rename this. We should do that in our template. I'm just going to call it MLE01. Okay, we'll delete this other tab. We don't need it. That should get done in the template. All right, and I notice uh, we got a little bit of cleanup to do here. Just fillet these lines. Ooh, I do not like that rounded fillet. And these probably actually need to go on the paper edge layer, but I'll fix that in a minute. Um, I also do not like this bright white background. Uh, it hurts my eyes. So, uh, and the reason this isn't set up yet is I just installed, uh, I just installed the newest version of BricsCAD, version 21. Oh, so much better. <laughs> All right, let's go over to our model, model space. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to drop in that, uh, background orthophotography, but we want to make sure we're on the right layer. So uh, we're going to go ahead and add a layer. I always use death points when I can, because I hate death points. I wish it would be banished. Uh, so we're going to call this XREF GIS Ortho. And uh, it might have a different name at your company. You know, your layer names are going to be a little bit different. And we always make our XREFs blue, <clears throat> the layer color blue. So we'll make that current, and we're going to go ahead and attach that XREF. So let's see, I don't need this guy. I'm going to just clean up my XREFs real quick. I should have had that done, sorry. I got a little cleanup I need to do in our template. It's like the story of my life, right? Clean up to doing templates. All right, XREFs are cleaned up. Let's go ahead and add our, uh, let's add our ortho drawing. Okay, so there's my orthos. Drop there, drop those in. So uh, what, I, what we're doing is we're mapping a couple schools. We've got these two schools here that we're gonna map. And so I dropped in, this is the kind of the rough sketch we got from the engineer. Um, so we can do, we'll do this one first. This is La Loma uh, Junior High. And uh, the, engineer, the engineer didn't tell me, but this is actually rotated 90 degrees, so north is over here. Um, so anyways, that's what we're going to map. Okay, so we're going to take that crude engineer sketch and turn it into a thing of beauty. Uh, that's our goal. 
So let's go ahead and set up our current layer. Uh, let's see. I need to create a layer here. So let's go ahead and create a new layer. It's going to be called Survey uh, Exhibit Lines. Map, mapping limits. All right, and we are going to make that. Uh, we're going to try 183, and we're going to try. Uh, I don't. Yeah, we use Phantom for our boundary lines, so let's load. I'm going to do like a thin dashed. Yes, yeah, so we'll do dash two. Okay, and we'll make that current. Now, before we get super crazy here, well, that's right. We'll draw our mapping limits, uh, the, the actual limits, and then before we do any labeling, we got to set our scale up. So, All right, so just looking at what the engineer wants here, and you always give the engineer a little more than they want. That's a good rule of thumb. So uh, kind of our first box goes basically from he um, right here, kind of down here. And so I like to have... Nice square boxes, so I'm going to draw a line first. And um, we're going to go ahead and take this to center line. The engineer uh, has it kind of passed right past the edge of the walk, but center line is just going to be easier for us. Okay, and he basically goes down to this tree, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so once we have that line in, we're going to offset that some uh, distance here. So uh, we're going to try... Uh, 200 feet. Okay, that's going to be, that's too deep. He wants to just get the front of the building. So, oop. Let's try uh, 140. Oh, that's about perfect. Okay, so we're going to go down 140 feet. And then we're just going to cap the edges of this rectangle. Okay. It looks like he wants to go a little farther. I'm, I'm going to take these up past the edge of the building here. Okay, so we can make sure we get everything he wants. Okay, so that's the first box. Oop. Okay, so we got our first box here. and then, uh, I usually turn these into a polyline. These lines into a polyline. Okay. Nope, oh, didn't work. So I'm just doing PE for polyline edit. M for multiple. Grab all those. And we want to say join. And uh, there's our first polyline. Okay, so I've got three more boxes to draw here, but I don't want to make you guys wait for those. So uh, I'm going to pause the video. I'll draw my other boxes, and then we'll we'll get to labeling.